Hey guys! Um, as you guys know from the title of this video, I'm going to be, um, sorry, I have this cap on because I'm getting ready, but um, as you guys know from the title of this video, I am going to be um, wearing a face veil today and I'm just seeing what that's like. Obviously, yes, um, face veiling is commonly mostly associated today with Islam um, and Arab cultures. However, it's obviously as well a biblical thing that was done. Um, not so much in the, New, in the New Testament, but we do see it with possibly Rebecca. We see it with Tamar. And then we see it again mentioned in Song of Solomon. Um, some of the apocryphal books. Um, Susanna was known as just such a modest and godly woman. And she actually wore a face veil. So um, it's something that obviously spans um, throughout all three Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Um, it's not something that like I'm like aspiring to or anything. Like I don't, I, I can't see myself ever like being a full-time face veiling woman or anything like that. But a friend of mine um, sells these really nice head veils and they come with a face veil. So I figured why not um, just get the set and then, I don't know, wear it and just see what that's like. Um, I'm not so much looking at how other people respond. Obviously, I'm going to notice that. But more of like, what do I feel like in this? And like, what did our matri matriarchs, like what benefit did they see in it? Um, and yeah, just kind of, I don't know, just one of those things where I think a lot of women sometimes will have a, a time of like being skirts only just to see what that does to them, how that transforms them, how that informs their modesty. And so this is like one of those things kind of in that way. So this is not like cultural appropriation. It's obviously a part of Christianity, as I said. Um, it's not like dressing up in blackface or a costume. So I don't wanna really read any of those comments. Um, it's something that my four mothers of faith did and I'm interested in trying out. Um, I have thought about like on YouTube, face veiling a little bit more, um, but then I don't on Instagram and I don't plan to like in my everyday life do it. So it's one of those things of like, does that make sense? Um, but in real everyday life, I feel like it can make a little bit more sense for me personally, just there are times where I want to go out, but I don't necessarily want specifically like men gawking at my face like not that like I'm like the finest thing walking because child I know I'm not um but you know there's somebody out there for everybody and people have different tastes so sometimes you know I'm the taste of some men out there which is fine um God has wired men obviously to see something attractive um hear godliness in a woman and be attracted to that and to shoot their shot um you know if they don't see a ring or something like that but i think for me sometimes i just it's literally just me i don't want to deal with seeing someone then looking at me and then me having to like send the clear message like don't shoot your shot married <laughs> Mary, <laughs> you know, and so I, I do wonder if, you know, just covering up your face and having your eyeballs out um, will be something that kind of can deter that sort of attention in the moment. Um, of course, there's always going to be people who find face feeling attractive and might shoot their shot, but it's not me feeling like, gosh, you've seen my whole face, you've seen my smile. Um, I really don't really want you looking at me like that, but my face is out, so there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So anyway, I've babbled on long enough. Um, I'll be taking one of my kids with me because today's kind of been a rough day in our home. Um, so I'm gonna take my littlest with me and that's it. And we're gonna go grocery shopping. So come along for the ride. Okay, so it's Sunday. I need to obviously clean off my mirror and clean up my room. Let all that be. This is the outfit. You guys can even see it. So many fingerprints. Um, so yeah, I it's not perfect. I only have one pin and that's an earring. It's not even a pin. But best I can do, I've never put a face veil on. 
So this is actually my first time wearing, well, I've, I've worn like a Kamar, but not like a two-piece face veil. So this is what we have going on. So I just have like a long cardigan, a long skirt, and this, and it's perfect because today it's actually pretty cold outside. So now let's see how the husband reacts. What does Nate think? What do I think of what? The face veil, obviously. The thing that I don't usually ever wear. <laughs> Just be careful when you go out. Stop. Um, Stop. Keep your head on the slope. I think it looks cute. I mean, I'm, but I'm already a black woman, and if I do wear a headscarf, it, like, what's the difference, you know? Like, maybe there's a little bit of heightened, I feel like but... There's a, I feel like there's an added okay. layer now on to your, uh, yeah, uh, what is it, target to value or whatever. Not, More than not just normal black, headscarf? Not black and Muslim with headscarf. It's kind of like a double More than like a normal headscarf? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say. Okay, so you are concerned for safety. Yeah. Which is not I mean, unusual. I think, good. I think, I feel like. It's cute though, isn't it? Yeah. Like for what? It is. Like for people that say like, it's not for like, you know, it makes you less attractive to men. Like, men aren't as prone to look at you. I don't think that's true at all. I think you look fantastic. The only thing is they can't see my face. So, if, like, I just don't want to, people to see my smile today because I ain't trying to have nobody look. Yeah, you have beautiful eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. I'm so, sorry. now you're saying it just zones yeah. in on the yeah. other. Yeah. Let me do a, do a 360 real quick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So. With the camera? Well, yeah, I don't know. All right, all right, all right. It's good. Yeah. I did a 180. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. It's also this, it's two layered, this face veil piece. It's hard to breathe. breathe. Yeah. Like I'm, my girlfriend was telling me like that it's hard to breathe and like CHL, like mm -hmm. it is. Like I, I people who people who say that people wear this and like have all these ulterior motives, I don't know. Cause this is hard Ivanka, to breathe in. Ivanka, get your hand. No, let, let. Okay guys, so I officially went into public <laughs> with my face veil on, um, literally just from, my apartment down the steps and into the car and even like just with that I like legitimately feel a little bit like nervous and it's funny I don't feel that way wearing like you know a longer you know Islamic looking you know it's seen as Islamic looking like scarf style um, which a lot of people call hijab um, I don't ever feel that way, and I don't remember if I ever felt that way. Maybe I did, but I mean, it was that would have been like five years ago, right? So, I don't know. But, like, I feel really just modest and privatized and beautiful. Like, I think my husband was even like, no, like, that's fire. <laughs> um, but, you know, my husband, he's... He's my husband, so of course anything is going to be fire to him. But anyway, um, I, I like the fact that, like, nobody can see, like, the rest of my face. Like, yeah, you can see my forehead, my eyebrows, my eyes. So, like, you see my humanity. But you're not getting, like, the full picture. And I kind of like that. Um, I mean, it's not for everyone, but, like, I get into very, like, private moods to where... I would prefer to like go do things I need to do like my errands but again like not have someone like boom in my face looking at my face and talking about my smile and my teeth <laughs> you know what I mean and I think I don't know I just I like it so um we shall see how this goes I will say it's really hard to breathe in um and as you talk and as you move like you kind of have to like pull it down a little bit um, cause it can like go up and cut off your eyes, but mine's not super tight and I have it tied in the back. Um, it's like a face veil with two strings and you tie it in the back above your bun back there. So, um, yeah, it's hard to breathe in. So I will say mad respect to any, you know, full-time face veiling women out there. Mad respect. <laughs> but yeah, so we are going, this fabric is really good. So I'll put the link below to where I bought this from if any of you want to buy one. My two-year-old's hungry, so I'm going to get going to the store. And I'm going to try to vlog in the store and see um, how that goes. So.
What? Who needs this? Who needs it? You don't know? Yeah. So, so far, so good. I really don't think people care at all. So that's nice. I don't know. All right, Nate, so we went out in face fails, or I went out in a face fail. What are your observations? Um, I mean, really, it's just a lot of people, like, giving, like, staring, you know, um, just little stuff. I mean, nobody's really said anything. It's, I feel like it's not really a big deal, to be honest. So overall, nobody cares. <laughs> Ivanka, come here. Jenna, oh, no. go Hannah, have a seat. Yeah, nobody, it's not, yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, to me, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the looks that you get when you're not veiling and we're like, at like a, I don't know if I can say this, but like an all black male and a, guy, a lot of guys are like looking at you or whatever. I feel like it, me, I'm in like a similar position where I'm like, okay, like assessing each situation, like, okay, what's going on here or whatever, okay. but it's similar. Okay, so you've had no weird looks at all, or you have had weird looks? I mean, I feel like people don't look at me weird. I, I mean like, me. I mean, yeah, have you noticed you, people yeah, looking at me oddly? Yeah, absolutely. I started off like that. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people just stare, you know, and look at you and maybe, like, size you up and stuff, and I look at them and size them up. Ava, you stay over here. But, I mean, that's, that's it, really. Nobody's okay. really said anything. And what I have noticed is that women tend to be more, like have a look of like offense, like I've set us back 5,000 years some kind of way. And for the most part, men don't care. But there was one white man who like stared me down in the eyeballs. Um, and he didn't look like he was too pleased. But overall, like Nate said, I don't think anyone really cares. So, yay.